We are back in the world of Civ 6 for Black History Month, huh? Yo, koso minasan, it's Koru here, Shogun of Shinshoku. And today, since Black History Month is coming near an end, I figured we would celebrate and close off with some Black Pride by playing the Zulu as Shaka, our boy Shaka right here, and just, you know, building a colonial empire. I, I don't know why I thought of making a Zulu colonial empire, but, you know, you know what? We're gonna do that anyways, because it's at least something. Let's see, we need a wonder for our capital to be revered for. Or Zagaz, no. St. Basil's Cathedral, no, not really. Tundra. Motherland Calls, eh, I'm not even sure if we're gonna go communist. Ah, yeah, Stonehenge! Perfect! <laughs> there it is right there, huh? The Stonehenge being built right before our very eyes. An ancient wonder to behold from the Zulu people. We even got John the Baptist as our prophet. Was this like the prophet of baptism? What what religion is this guy from? I don't even know. This question has bugged me for a while. And there we go. We've gotten the urban areas settled out as well as plenty of farmland, including both wheat and wind farms. So, uh, yeah... But also we found Johannesburg, which, uh, I, which honestly, I'm just gonna have some fun with this and just try to make them look very drunk. I think I did that in one video, but I don't remember. But yeah, I'm just gonna try to push Johannesburg further and further until they end out in fuck knows where. So, uh, I guess we'll see how that goes, huh? Also, we're gonna be finding Amatonga. I'm a dongle. Oh god, that is a really bright yellow. Go on, my black brothers, and settle another city, huh? Shakas will be proud of you. Oh, what's this? A new city-state that hasn't yet settled. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, make you pretty drunk, too. Uh, what kind of city name is that? You know, I don't know why Madagascar is disconnected from Africa. It's pretty close. You know what? I think I have an idea. <laughs> oh god, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Now that's a BBC if I've ever seen one. If you're as uniquely dirty-minded as I am, you'll know why I put so much cattle next to an industrial zone. Okay, the BBC has been finished, and if you're part of any of the following cities, please listen up. Ondini, Kwa Nongoma, Kwa Bulawayo, and Ungun Gundalov. If you're from any of those cities, Please call 123 not to MI6 headquarters in Birmingham, as you may be entitled to a job at the BBC. You know, I was gonna sell the Suez, but then I thought, you know, do we really need all this desert anyways? Do we do we even really need to build a canal? Why not just flood the place? It's just more desert anyways, so uh yeah, goodbye. So apparently this is called the Gulf of Aquaba, and I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the Red Sea IRL, but yeah, I just took out a lot of the desert along it and uh yeah now we got an open space we don't even have to build a canal now it settlers standing on ocean they're literally standing in the middle of the ocean how is this even possible how are they not embarked why is there just this random one tall lake in the middle of Africa? You know what? There we go. That's much better. Now we got a nice little gulf bringing water into the Sahara and making much more grassland. And now we have fully developed the city of Ikartij. Yeah, we just uh, sailed all the way from here in Kwanongoma all the way through to Ikartij. Quite a long journey, I know, but it's a nice city now. There we go. We've sailed the city of Kualomendini. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. Now we don't just have a canal going to the BBC. We also have a canal going to the Gulf of Guinea. And now we got a shit ton of different kinds of plantations. Since when was the last time putting Africans on plantations went horribly? Okay, okay, I, I'm sorry if that was too far for you. I don't know what I was thinking there. Although you know what I want a lot of in my empire? That's right, bananas. Not No implications other than the fact that I just like bananas, okay? You know what, while we're in Portugal, we might as well build a tour de Belém because, you know, 
Fuck it. Now, Iberia, let's see how you like being worked to death on the cotton fields. And there we go, we have expanded our plantations into France and the British Isles. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen with all these settlers, like we have England in my territory, so we have a lot of people in my territory. So, I don't know where they're gonna end up. They might just end up in, like, the rest of Africa and Europe, just really drunk, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, I think I broke all the settlers. Because, yeah, they're just standing here. They're not doing anything. What if I declare war on them? Maybe that'll help? Maybe then they'll just get pushed out of my borders? Uh, okay, now that I've declared war on them, they're actually, you know, moving through my territory now. So I guess we'll have to go a couple turns forward and see where they end up settling. Okay, uh, somehow we got a culture victory as the Zulu. I don't know what it was, but yeah. Yeah, apparently we got a cultural victory as Shaka. So I guess that's pretty much it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, because the majority of you are not subscribed. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Matani!